What's your reaction to what happened with the with with Judge uh, mm-hmm. Cohn yesterday? Well, I was disappointed in the decision. We respect the judge's decision, and we're definitely appealing that to a higher court. It's a fundamental principle of the Illinois Constitution that really our highest court should uh, uh, render a decision on. But having said that, John, the whole purpose of suspending the legislators' pay and not taking pay myself. Uh, uh, is to make sure that we focus attention of the legislature on the importance of pension reform. Uh, it's a hundred billion dollar problem where taxpayers in Illinois are paying for this uh, inaction, lack of action by the General Assembly. Five million bucks a day, every day, uh, goes up uh, in liability. And, um, you know, I think we've succeeded for sure in getting the legislature to pay attention. So in the public, you know, you stop people on the street, they love the idea. Do you think perhaps in the October veto session, when can folks see some some movement? Well, I really hope so. You know, Marianne, on October 22nd, 23rd, and 24th, the legislature is meeting again in spring. Field. That's plenty of time to pass a pension reform that eliminates a $100 billion liability. Put it on my desk. I'll sign it in uh, one minute, and we'll get this problem behind us. Uh, there is a committee you mentioned of 10 people from both houses of the legislature, both parties. Uh, they can help present a, a plan to both houses of the legislature. But we've got to get a vote on this. Uh, we, you know, we, The delays, the excuses, the alibis, uh, that's over with. And part of the reason of suspending the pay... And I'm not taking a pay right now. You know, whatever the judge said yesterday, I'm not taking a paycheck. And I would say to legislators, you shouldn't either until you get this job done. Don't you think they should line up for their paycheck so that we could get pictures of them? Take you mean go pay? over to the state treasurer's office yeah. and stand in line? And Judy a, can hand it to them, just yeah. like uh, well, Lisa, well, Lisa told Well, it appears to. Judy did overnight try to hurry up and get it electronically yeah. sent to their bank accounts. Yeah. And, I, and her office tells me this morning that, yes, those lawmakers are going to see the checks over the weekend. Would you have rather had Judy Bartopinka... Hold off until your until your appeal for a stay. Yeah, we're in court this morning. I think in about a half hour, asking the judge to a stay means to just hold everything until an appellate court can rule on this issue. This is a fundamental issue that involves the taxpayers of Illinois, and so this heated rush to get your pay when we have this. A hundred billion dollar pension problem staring us in the face is, I think, uh, you got to get your priorities straight. And legislators have to understand I'm not taking a paycheck until we get this job done. And I think that's what taxpayers understand. You don't get paid till you get the job done. What about Madigan and Cullerton? When's the last time you spoke with them, and where are they on all of this? Well, I've spoken to uh, uh, Mike Madigan this week. Uh, I told him how important I felt this issue is, and uh, he agreed that, you know, everybody's got to get down to uh, focusing on it night and day. Uh, That goes for President John Cullerton and the Republican leaders as well. Uh, We're all in this together. It's got to be, I think, a bipartisan effort to solve a problem that was created this wasn't created under my watch. It was before I came along as governor. I've inherited the mess, and my job is to clean it up. And I think every member of the legislature, the leaders and the members, have to understand it's cleanup time. We're the repair people, and we got to straighten it out. You're missing somebody. You know, you talked about the legislators and yourself, right? And it's a state issue, but there are other municipalities that are also having their own pension deal. I just read in the paper Tribune this week, Mayor Rahm Emanuel kicking the, his own pension can down the road till he's going to make the hard decisions in like 2050 or something, <laughs> right? Well, what do you well. think of where should the where should the shouldn't the mayor be uh, calling the legislators helping you out on this? All hands on deck. This issue affects everybody in Illinois, all 13 million people, every city, including the biggest city, Chicago. We need the mayor on board to uh, he help been? us get it. Well, I hope he can, uh, you know, get going here. I mean, I mean, he knows uh, a lot of legislators. Lines. You know, I heard one time he, he burned up the phone lines calling on one issue. So burning up the phone lines is a good way to go for every mayor in Illinois, especially the mayor of Chicago. Can I point out? Now, this morning, Capital Facts talks about there the four 
big companies in the U.S. here in Illinois, from Boeing to Abbott Labs, Caterpillar, as well as Kraft. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to uh, creating jobs, that we have the second worst uh, job growth in the country. Clearly, this pension problem is causing ripple effect throughout all Mm -hmm. sectors of the economy. What, What do you have for that? Well, a couple of things. No question about it. The resolving this $100 billion liability on the pension will help our economy, help our job growth. There's no question about it. Uh, but having said that, we do not have the second worst job growth in the country. We're way up there in the top dozen. So Moody's we've, is wrong. You know, we've created 251,000 jobs since the recovery began, private sector jobs. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's uh, very important that we keep creating jobs. The best way to keep creating jobs is to resolve the pension problem so we have more resources, more focus on what we really want, which is economic growth.